I'm Drew Binsky, and I'm gonna show you what $10 can get you in Lagos, Nigeria, country number 175. Welcome to Nigeria! <laughs> With over 20 million people, Lagos is the most populated city in Africa and one of the top 10 on our planet. If you know me personally or through my videos, then you already know that I love big cities. That's why I've chosen to live in Seoul, Hanoi, Bangkok, and Manila over the years. I simply love chaotic streets, bright lights, 24-hour nightlife, delicious street food vendors, and the randomness of people passing me by. From first impressions, I can tell you that Lagos is my kind of place, but it's certainly not for the faint-hearted. Seeing tourists out here are few and far between. Hi! What's your name? Tunde! Nice to meet you guys, thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Arizona. Arizona, yeah. United States. Yes, sir. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, man. Take it easy. 10 bucks is about 3,600 Nairas. It's time to hit the streets and see what we can get. Okay, we're going to buy some fruit here in Lagos. Is it avocado? Yeah, this is avocado. That's huge. Are these edible? Like, are they ready to eat? They look like they need to... Yeah, it's right. This is right. Really? Okay, <laughs> so in my country, they have to be like really yellow to eat them. So usually if it's green, it means you have to wait a couple of days. Are you confused? <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> All right, so we are now on the road. We are heading to the biggest and busiest and craziest market in town, the Eco Market. So my goal is to buy a couple things that are pretty Nigerian. We're gonna have to just kind of wing it and see what we can get there. All right, we have arrived here at the market. Let's do it. This is hands down one of the most chaotic and busy markets I've ever been to. I'll put it on you, no, 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 on you, on you. No, 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 no. So, uh, so I got powder all over my face because they were celebrating. It's already hard enough to shoot content on the streets of Lagos and this market makes it all the more challenging, but I absolutely love it. I want to get a Nigerian flag and luckily the store next to me has exactly what I'm looking for. Can you flag? You didn't flag. You have the small one, huh? I got it. Right. Thank you, bro. Okay. I'm getting hungry and I want to test out some local Nigerian snacks. So I approached the first street vendor I saw. Can I try one? I just want to try it. I'm going to buy some, don't worry. Hot! Too hot, man. Let's give the puff puff a try. Oh, sh Oh, it's like, a sweet, it's like a donut. It's like a sweet pastry. It's good. Very good, man. Here's a fun fact about me. I haven't gone a day without wearing at least one bracelet on my right wrist since seventh grade. It's about time to get a new one for all the memories. Which color do you think I should get? Orange, yellow, I don't know. Yellow, you can use yellow, you can use blue, you can use black. All right, so I just got a bracelet here. All right, man, how much? Just 500, sir. 500? Yeah, this one's a good one. 200, man. Uh -oh. It's so small! It's so small! It's like a piece of paper! It's hot, man! Take it easy. They're going so fast! My God! Crazy! So this is without question the craziest market I've been to in the world. I mean, the cars drive so fast and they don't stop for anyone. Like, if you blink or if you lean one way, you're gonna get toppled over by a car. Where are we going? I think we're lost. Okay, well, I'm following this guy because, uh, Jesus Christ, and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now we're going to take a bus, a local bus, back to VI, Victoria Island. Okay, so change of plans, we were going to take a bus, and then we found this little rickshaw before, so we're jumping on this thing, which is actually more fun because you can shoot out the window and you're, it's not too crowded. It's called it, okay? Okay, it's called it, okay? Okay. 
This day is not complete until we explore Lagos during the night because the city becomes electric when the sun goes down. So we're here on the beach, we're gonna try some grilled meat right here for this guy. Beef, chicken, goat, everything is here. My nose is leading me to the barbecue stand where these guys are cooking up a wide array of smoked meat. I don't know what meat this is, I just kind of grabbed it. Last but not least, we head to a local bar to try the most classic Nigerian alcoholic beverage. We got palm wine, which is apparently what they drink here in Nigeria. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it. it. Looks a little bit murky, like... Here we go. It's actually better than I thought. When I smelled it the first time, it wasn't good, but it actually tastes it's a little bit like sour. In total, I got a sack of bananas, a Nigerian flag, a bag of puff puffs, one bracelet, one keke ride, a smoked barbecue dinner, and a bottle of palm wine for $9.95. And that's what $10 can get you in Lagos, Nigeria. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, you seen my videos? Yeah, I wanna see your video. If you check on your Facebook, I wanna see your Facebook. I wanna click on you, okay. check on your new video every time. Okay. I wanna watch it. I wanna watch it. I'm so excited. I wish I can go and like do yeah, it. Yeah, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. I'm Monday by name. Huh? Monday. You see me Monday. on Monday. Yeah, what? Mr. Monday. Yeah, Mr. Monday. Yeah, that's my name. You see me on Facebook. Awesome, man. I'll check it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.